What we're going to learn how to do is how to create some kind of topping on something. So this could be ice cream, it could be a bingsu, but when we're making food, this tends to be something we need to do. And I'm just going to teach the basics um, just to get us started. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a sphere. Now before I click anything, I'm going to go down here, add sphere, and I'm going to change these defaults. And I'm going to change segments to eight and rings to six and that's going to bring it down to like a lower resolution mesh and that'll make it easier for me to deal with okay now the next thing i want to do is go to edit mode and you're going to notice that these lines right here um, they're all ending in one point and i would prefer to keep everything what i call a quad quad means um, four-sided polygon one two three four but here is a try and the reason is this if I wanted to add an edge loop which is command R right here it only goes here it doesn't go all the way around the way around so I'm gonna undo this and now I'm gonna do one really quick thing I'm gonna grab these ones and I'm gonna press X and I'm going to dissolve edges and that's going to get rid of this and now you're going to see when I press command R like this edge loop goes all the way around and there's a reason why this is going to be good because we're going to be working in subdivision surfaces right here right there okay and subdivision surfaces is going to make it easier to work with all right so I added this modifier right here subdivision surfaces first I would while it's still in this like mode right here I'll just turn this off all right while it's still in this mode where it's low I'm going to just maybe change the Pull this out a little bit. Pull it out. So maybe this is that top part of right here. That's that, that structure right there. And I'm going to go back here. And now that I have this, you're going to notice there's two sets of meshes. There's this mesh and there's the inside. And to be able to work with that inside mesh, I'm going to leave I need to go in back into object mode and I'm going to apply so now that modifier is gone and when I go to my edit mode it's kind of a higher resolution but now you can kind of see why I wanted to not have triangles because I have these nice polygons going on here and it'll make life easier for me to do what I need to do so I now want to put that white topping right here on, on there. So maybe to make it easy I'm going to go select circle base and I'm going to go something like this. I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to select if I need to get rid of it one I press command shift maybe go all the way around something like that from this angle right here okay and now I'm going to duplicate so shift D right here duplicate and you're gonna see that like I have a second mesh and it's it's the same contours as my first mesh um, I'm just gonna right click and it's gonna go back and now I'm gonna go to mesh and I'm going to separate selection so what that does is if, go, if I go to object mode first I'm going to go to select box object mode I now have this mesh and this mesh right here All right and I'm going to go back to my edit mode I'm going to select this and if I want I can command L all right, which is the same here. 
linked command L and that selects everything that's in there okay and now I'm going to option E and I'm going to extrude shrewd faces along normals and that pulls it out a little bit and that's looking okay and you're not not going to notice it's a little bit too linear and that's where we're going to do the next thing so I'm going to grab this one I'm back in object mode I'm going to add a subdivision surface on here display twice smooth shade go here subdivision surface display twice smooth shade and that's already looking pretty okay right not too bad it's looking it's it's kind of got that feeling of things coming down here maybe something like that all right and now I can go in and add my shaders green color maybe right here and this one let's keep it this nice white all right so there we go that's how I would do it um, if I need to fix this I go in edit mode and I can I could grab different sections maybe make it a little more tapered like that bring this down a bit more and you can and what's good is so I'm working with this like low resolution mesh and this is what we call the box modeling technique and we're gonna learn about this in our next unit modeling unit but this is just an, a way. And if you want to, you know, let's say I wanted to add one more thing here, Command R, add an edge loop, and then maybe go in here and pull it up a little bit. So you can kind of just me play with this mesh right here and kind of model it however you want to make it. And it's pretty easy. And that is how I might make that topping right here.